हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एल एन ओवरसीज इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट नेचर ऑफ रूट ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन नाउ वेरी सिंपली इफ वी ऑब्जर्व द क्वांटिटी डिस्क्रिमिनेंट दिस इज डिफाइंड एज डिस्क्रिमिनेंट बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी फॉर एनी जनरल क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन राइट एंड इट ऑल्सो प्लेज अ वेरी वाइटल रोल इन डिसाइडिंग द नेचर ऑफ रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन विदाउट एक्चुअली डिटरमाइनिंग दैट हाउ बिकॉज एक्स इज माइनस बी प्लस माइनस रूट डी वाई टू ए राइट that is x for any general quadratic equation solution of this one so as you can see discriminant is present inside the square root it plays exactly the vital role to decide the nature of root so let's see how it decides so let's see different cases first of all with respect to discriminant first of all if a b c belong to real numbers then we have two separate cases d greater or equal 0 or d less than 0 d greater or equal 0 implies that real roots right d less than 0 implies imaginary roots now imaginary roots occur in conjugate pair let's say alpha is p plus iota q then another root will be p minus iota q right they occur in conjugate pair so if we know one of the roots we can directly write another root right similarly proceeding further now in this if discriminant is only positive that means real and distinct roots if d is 0 it will be giving you equal roots right both roots will be x equals minus b by 2a d is zero only similarly proceeding further if abc belong to rational numbers right if abc belong to rational and d is positive under this only we are proceeding so if d is perfect square also then your roots will be rational and if it is not a perfect square then clearly it will be irrational roots now again irrational roots also occur in conjugate pair in the pair of let's say we have one root p plus root q another root will be p minus root q very simple similarly if we consider under this condition only d is positive and abc belong to rational numbers now particular condition for integral roots what is that d must be perfect square and positive and a is one along with bc belong to integers then you are getting integral roots so these are basic conditions entire flow chart to describe how discriminant decides the nature of roots if we take very basic example let's say for this one only let's take an example here if i say this is the quadratic x square plus bx plus c equal 0 along with bc belong to integer belong to rational only let's say and we have been given that one of the root is 2 plus root 3 and we have to find the value of b and c what we will be requiring here obviously another root will be 2 minus root 3 so what will be sum of roots from here if another root is 2 minus root 3 sum of roots will be 4 so that means minus b equals 4 or b will be minus 4 similarly product of roots will be 4 minus 3 which is 1 so c will be 1 very basic example we can very easily utilize these conditions for discriminant less than 0 imaginary roots and for having irrational roots both roots will be occurring in the pair moving on to first question let's see if roots of the equation are equal now here very interesting question if you observe clearly sum of all these terms is zero sum of coefficients of the quadratic is coming out to be zero so very special condition here you have to note down if sum of coefficients in the quadratic is zero then roots will be 1 and c by a how you can check it here only what will be product of roots alpha into beta that will be c by a only right and what will be sum of roots alpha plus beta that will be minus b by a right so what is minus b if a plus b plus c is zero minus b will be a plus c only this will be a plus c divided by a or you can write 1 plus c by a right so sum of roots clearly we can say one root is one another is c by a product here is also c by a into 1 so both roots will be 1 and c by a if sum of coefficients is 0 right so what we have to apply in this one root will be 1 and another will be b minus c upon a minus b and it is also given both are equal so this will be b minus c divided by a minus b which gives me to be equals a plus c first option to be equals a plus c moving on to next question proceeding with this question what we have been given number of all possible positive integral values of alpha for which roots are rational numbers now when you will be getting rational roots you just require discriminant to be a perfect square right 
What will be discriminant here? Discriminant b square minus 4ac. This is the discriminant. Now for different values of alpha, we have to check for which we are getting. For integral values of alpha, we require perfect square of discriminant. So let's take different values. If alpha is 1, what will be? 121 minus 24, that will be 97, not a perfect square. For alpha 2, 24 into 2, 48, 121 minus 48, that will be your 73. Again, not a perfect square. For 3, 121 minus 72, that will be 49. So this is a perfect square. Similarly, when we put alpha 4, that will be 24 into 4, 96, 121 minus 96, that is 25. Okay, last value we can also take 5 also. 24 into 5, that is 120. So 121 minus 120, that is 1. These 3 will be giving you perfect square. After this, you will be getting discriminant negative only. So 3 values are possible for which you are getting rational roots. Proceeding with next question, this is previous year question only, right? J main 2019. Proceeding with next question, the least value of a for which the equation has real roots. Very simple condition, what is that? D should be greater or equal 0 for real roots. Only real we have been given, so you have to apply equality also. So what will be discriminant a minus 10 whole square minus 4 into a into c will be 33 by 2 minus 2a that will be taking LCM here. This must be greater or equal 0. This two can be cancelled out. On squaring this up, we are getting a square minus 20a plus 16a that will be minus 4a plus 100 minus this will be 132. 100 minus 132 minus 32 greater or equal 0. This will be factorized as a minus 8 a plus 4 greater or equal 0. So from here what we are getting a minus infinite to minus 4 union 8 to infinite. Now in this what we have been asked we have been asked that positive value least positive value that will be definitely 8 only. Least positive value will be 8 only. So answer for this one that is 8. This is also previous year question asked in J main 2020. Proceeding with next part. Next is for what values of C does the equation possess no real roots. Now you have studied all the conditions you just have to apply these conditions. So make sure you do this question yourself and do not forget to post your answers in the comment box. Also if you have any queries or suggestions you can post that in the comment box we will definitely revert you back. Uh, we are coming up with more conceptual videos which will be really helpful for your JE exam preparation. So stay tuned with us. Thank you.